Where the hell did you get this question? This has got to be a joke. I'm not reading. Read the f question. If I have $12,000 invested in a CD at 3.2% APR for 12 months, should I consider moving it to an IRA to protect against the influence of moon cheese on the market? There is no such thing as moon cheese! Moon cheese. That is vile. You should definitely not invest in moon cheese because that stuff is bad. Maybe they could use it as a fossil fuel or something. I mean, with the recent loss of oil and everything, but don't invest in it. You know what? As a matter of fact, you should probably withdraw all your money out of the moon cheese investment that you made because that's just vile. It's like poison. Love the moon cheese. All oh, mine. Every tasty pound. We are currently getting messages from space, coming from the satellite the U.S. launched to travel our galaxy back in the 70s. What do you think the message says? I don't know what they say. They may be trying to place an order with Subway, but more importantly, what I do to protect my own super intelligent brain from being raped by alien brain waves is I line my helmets, hats, or spaghetti strainers with tin foil just to protect myself from their brain waves. Through that method, they can murder rape you, which is a compound word, murder rape, or they can uh, read your thoughts. It's kind of like hacking your brain. All right, here we go. No, nope. I'm not doing it different question. No, nope. I'm not doing it. Quit. Not another question. Never. I'm not going to do it. Unless you can give me more moon cheese. All I can think about <coughs> is moon cheese. Moon cheese. Next question. How many foreign kids do you think Angelina and Brad should adopt? If I get one more question about celebrities and their children or not their children, I'm going to go crazy and stab somebody in the heart. Because I could literally not give a less about that. I care about that about as much as I care of the fluctuation in price of mustard. None. Zero. I just want to make you all aware of that. So please quit sending me these questions about celebrities. We have one last question. Nope, I'm not doing it. You're not getting more moon cheese. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. Okay. What was the best thing before sliced bread? Hand jobs, probably. Prostitution. Maybe red wine. I'm not really sure. I'd like to say myself. You know what? I will say myself until you can provide me with evidence on the year that sliced bread was actually being manufactured. I'm gonna say myself. Sliced bread actually started in a bakery. You know what, you're a raging alcoholic. I don't believe a word that you're saying right now. You're pretty much a liar. Didn't we already discuss who the historical authority is? I'm pretty sure that none of that was historically accurate. Who are you to tell me what is and is not historically accurate or inaccurate? Are you the Encyclopedia Britannica Wikipedia? No, I'm the historical authority. Just saying. Don't try and argue that with me. Unless you like getting speared in the chest. See, this shouldn't take this long. That's all I'm saying. It should. We should be able to cook two pizzas in the time it takes us to record this, but instead it's taking ten pizzas. Uh-huh. Or that's how I measure time. <laughs>